Hmm, what lure should I be throwing this spring and summer? Oh, I know. I've got six lures that you need to put in your tackle box right now. Hey, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Colby Yak Fishing. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. I do a lot of fishing content, a lot of kayaking content. I do some unboxings of mystery tackle boxes. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification so that way you never miss out on a video that I upload. Let's get into this video. I have six lures that you need to put in your tackle box right now for the spring and summertime for 2021. So I made a little tackle box that's got six different lures in it that I'm gonna go through and tell you how I like to throw them, specific brands of what I like to throw, and things that are gonna catch more fish for you this spring and summer. Links to all these lures are going to be down in the description below, and you can find everything on shopcarls.com. First up, we have everyone's favorite type of bass fishing, and that is topwater. Listen, if you don't like topwater fishing, then you're not a true bass fisherman because topwater fishing is the most exciting form of fishing. Not only can you see the strike, you can hear the strike. And depending on how close it is, you can feel the strike, maybe a little bit of splash action going on. What I like to throw for top water in the spring and summer is the old tried and true Whopper Plopper. Yep, that's right. This is River to Seas Whopper Plopper. This is a three inch version. It is the 90F and it is in the color blue back herring. I love to throw this anywhere. Like you can throw it around cover, you can throw it wide open in water, you can throw it around docks, just anywhere. And it makes a nice little wapala plopala as it's spinning and as this little back uh, tail is flipping and these hooks, let me tell you, are super sticky that come on it. You don't even have to change out these treble hooks. I've actually had this Whopper Plopper and I got it in a mystery tackle box probably three or four years ago, this exact one. And I've used it a ton and you can even see because I have, you know, the little uh, line still on it right there. These hooks are still super sticky. First thing you're going to need, some kind of top water. I highly suggest River to Seas Whopper Plopper. Number two on the list of lures that you need this spring and summer is a square bill. This is a Guggen Squad banger in sexy shad color and it will dive to about two to five feet. Now, where do I like to fish this? Um, anywhere. And there's going to be a theme to all of these lures. So I like to throw this around cover, structure, wide open water, anywhere. Sometimes I'll just like to swim it out in the open if uh, there's like a little flat, a little shallow spot, throw it out there. It's a great way for you to cover water very quickly and get those reaction strikes. Now, these hooks that come on this lure, they are as well ready to go. Oh, geez, got myself a little bit. Look at that, that little piece of skin that's coming up already. This is ready to go out of the box. Little Guggen Squad banger. It is a great lure caught a ton of fish on square bills in general and this guy right here in this color sexy shad you cannot go wrong with this color in the spring and summertime number three on the list of lures that you need to put in your tackle box is a lipless crankbait this is the bio spawn rattle bot look at this thing it looks sick it looks like a little robot and this is in the magma color. This is a sinking lipless crankbait and it has got some gnarly rattles in it and also, ah, just stabbed myself again. It's got some gnarly sticky hooks to it as well. I mean just look at how sexy this thing is. It comes in all different kind of colors when you go to shopcarls.com but this one is like I said the magma color. So where do you fish this? 
open water around structure right on grass lines you can go deep with it throw it in the grass rip it through grass it is a very versatile lure to catch reaction strike bass on it so those bass that are just a little anxious and looking at something swimming by I'm like hey i don't like that and they'll pop it boom lipless crankbait biospawn rattlebot magma number four on the list is some sort of bladed jig or chatterbait this one happens to be the Guggen Squad clickbait. And why they call it the clickbait is it has these little steel balls that are located right here when it moves back and forth in the water. It does a little clickety clackety clickety clacky. Now, this is the sexy shad color, and this is a 3 8 ounce. You can see right there. Now, I have got it paired up with a 10,000 fish Yodo worm. Listen, this guy right here looks amazing when it is swimming through the water. It has this little, what they call the tickle tail right there on the end. As this moving back and forth, it gives it so much action. It covers so much water and it's going to catch you so many more Fish. I don't know if that grammar is correct, but it's going to so do it. Now, before we get to the last two, number five and number six, numbers are hard, I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. All the lures that you see here on this video have either come from shopcarls.com or I've gotten through Mystery Tackle Box, and there would have been no way for me to have even come across any of these lures if it hadn't have been for Mystery Tackle Box. And if you want to get your hands on a Mystery Tackle Box for only $10, you can get your first box using my promo code ColbyYak. All you have to do is go to the link in the description, type in the promo code ColbyYak, and you can get your first box for just $10. And some of these amazing baits will come in your box as well for you to try out. Number five. This is probably one of my favorites, and this is a new lure for me. And it is a jointed swim bait. And this particular one is the Mike Buka Baby Bull Gill. And this is in the natural gill color. Now, this thing looks absolutely breathtaking as it's swimming through the water. It is just such a pretty lure, super sticky hooks, and this is pretty innovative and neat right here. It's got this little bristle tail on it right there. So, this is an amazing lure to use to cover water, throw it out in the middle of the water, twitch it a little bit, slow retrieve it, very versatile, and that's something that you can do with all these lures. They're kind of idiot proof it's just like throw it out and bring them back and if you want to get fancy with them you can do a little twitch twitch you can do a little won't won't you can do all kinds of stuff with them just to change up the presentations but you can almost just throw all of these out reel them back in throw them out reel them back in and i don't want to say guaranteed you'll get a fish but more often than not if there are fish in the water you're going to get a fish on one of these lures last but not least number six this is a lure that's going to catch you fish 24-7, 365 and a quarter, because, you know, leap years and stuff, and that is a jig. Now, why is a jig so great in really any time of the water, but specifically spring and summer? That's because it imitates crawfish or it could imitate a bait fish. The specific lure that we have here is a Guggen Squad gridiron. And this is a 3 8 ounce, as you can see right here. And I have got it paired with the Game Changer Lures Eel Eliminator. And this thing, this little curly tail, looks so good in the water as it is just going boop, flopping around, boop, flopping around, boop, flop. Ooh, that was a good little flopper flopper. And then you can also swim this, and this tail just goes absolutely berserk. And, of course, I got that PB and 
J jig color on the skirt. It's probably one of my favorite colors to use just because I like peanut butter and jelly. Jig catches fish year round. Just a solid lure that you have to have in your tackle box come spring or summer. If you want to pick up any of these lures, you can go to the links down in the description below and you'll find all of these amazing products on shopcarls.com. I hope you enjoyed us talking about these six lures that I think you need to have in your tackle box. If you like the video, give the old thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, subscribe down below. And if you want to never miss out on a video that I put out, especially stuff coming this summer, let me tell you, it's going to be amazing. Make sure you hit that bell notification. And until next time, keep those lines tight.